Whenever you are sending the WhatsApp messages using WhatsApp Business API, you will have to firstly create a template message, get it approved via Facebook, and then only you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers, clients, and users on WhatsApp using such template messages. But a lot of users are still not sure how to do that. So in this video, I'll show you how to create the WhatsApp template messages in AI Sensei. So firstly, you will have to create an account and log into the dashboard. Well, I'm expecting that you already have an account so after login click on this manage section from this left hand sidebar and in this way you will be redirected to this template message section okay firstly you will find some quick guides okay so i would recommend you to read these instructions and then if you will scroll down you will find lots of predefined message templates okay so you can preview these templates and if it is fulfilling your requirement you can directly submit for the approval and start using it but here i'll show you how to create a template from scratch okay. so this is the button provided plus new click on that and firstly it will ask you to select the category so if you are sending some offer related messages go with this marketing category if you are sending some order confirmation messages go with this utility and if you are sending some otps go with this authentication okay so assume that i am sending some marketing related message okay so i am selecting the same category then you will have to select the language okay so i am selecting english as the language after that it will ask you to provide the template name okay so i will provide the name something like send offer related message okay send offer whatsapp or offer messages on whatsapp okay so here it will not accept any spaces okay so you will have to add this underscore the example is already given here and now you will have to select the template type okay so if you are sending a basic text go with this text message or if you are sending some image video file or a location along with your message go with that specific template type okay so i'll show you how to share files along with your message so i have selected the same and from here from this template format you can actually start composing your message okay so whatever i will write in this particular box you will be able to see the preview of that message from the right hand side okay so hello demo user and then i will add a comma and will press enter okay so in this way whatever you will write here you will be able to see the preview of this message here okay so let me tell you the same message template will be used to send the messages to all your customers okay so how it will work so basically whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you can add those values in the form of variable yes the numbers packed with the curly braces are called as the variables okay and let's say i want that the name of the customer name of the user should be replaced automatically so that is why i have added this value in the form of variable you can add as many as variables as you want and here a limit is also provided you can notice that and now i will compose my message something like this thank you for submitting the form okay and now i will write we have received your details okay and now i am going to attach the details of the very same user okay so you must be thinking how the details will be added so again i am going to add those values in the form of variable okay so i have already added my first variable now i will add the second variable in the same way two curly braces along with the number let me copy the exact thing and paste below and now i will just replace this number well i think it is not required because the number is changed automatically here also you can notice four is added here and now i will write someone from our team will call you back in next two hours all right okay let me also correct the spelling of the someone all right it is looking good and lastly i will add a thank you okay and remember we have selected the template type as file okay so from where basically where exactly i am going to attach the file so when you will select this specific template name in your integration software you will also find a blank field of sending the file okay so there exactly you can actually paste the file 
file link and how about I also paste the same file link here okay so here I am going to add something like meanwhile you can check this brochure okay and now I will add a colon and in this way I can add the link of my brochure okay so before I attach this link let me even show you this is actually a PDF link brochure all right so this is a traveling brochure let me again copy this link coming back to my asnc dashboard and here i will attach this link okay so whatever the details we are providing here manually will remain same but whatever the details we are adding in the form of variables these variables will be replaced automatically further it will ask you the sample values well samples are nothing but just a dummy content a sample content which you are actually telling the system that what values will come in place of this variable okay so according to my template in place of first variable the name of customer will appear so that is why I will provide a dummy name further in place of second variable also the name of customer will appear so I have added a sample content in place of third variable an email ID will come so how about I add a random email ID something like this all right so I have provided and last I'm going to provide a dummy phone number something like this okay so i think i have provided all the details to the system and if you also want to attach any footer you can write any content here and in this way your footer will look like okay and this is just a graphical representation of the message yes this is just a graphical representation and at last you will find the interactive actions okay so from here you can also attach the buttons along with your message okay you can add two call to action buttons buttons along with your message okay so firstly you will have to select the type of the action so let's say you want to attach a phone number button in your message you can select this specific action and in the button title how about I provide call now and did you see the preview in this way your button will appear and lastly I will provide the phone number okay so the code will be let's say plus nine because I'm from India and here I will add a dummy number once again okay so I have added the same and in this way your button will look like okay here you can notice the same number is appearing here further you have an option of adding one more button okay so this time I'll show you how to add a URL in your message okay so button title could be anything like check website okay and button value so here I can add any random URL okay so how about I add this specific URL okay and in this way you can add up to two call to action button in your message and this is how your message and your buttons will look like and you also have an option of quick replies let's say you are asking something to your customer to your client so you can also collect the replies let's say okay so I am interested okay so this option will appear in front of your customer in front of your lead they just need to select that specific option okay I am not interested and lastly I can add a value I can add a reply as not sure or I haven't decided okay so in this way you can also add some quick replies along with your message well the preview will be appeared in this way okay so I hope you have understood how to fill all these details and create a template and once everything is done you can submit this template for the approval and the parent company of whatsapp that is meta is going to review this template if they find this template appropriate they are surely going to approve this template template and this approval process may take few hours also and sometimes these templates will approve in few seconds in few minutes and here you can notice are this specific template is already approved the status is approved yes you can check the status of your template from this all section let me open and this is how my template is looking like this is the preview of the file which I have attached hello the name of customer will appear and in this way the message will be sent to my customer okay let me minimize it so that you can see it more clearly okay so I hope you have understood how to create whatsapp templates for sending the messages to your customers and clients in AI Sensei thank you for watching not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video